So we have this amazing storm that's about to roll in and oh my gosh, something about storms, it just, I can literally feel the energy and I'm just starting to channel some messages. Guys, this is a really explosive week in our astrology. We have some T-squares going on. We have Mars involved, Uranus, you know how explosive that can be. Uh, we have Saturn in it. And then we had some uh, Venus movement this morning. So we just have a lot going on this week. You know, some things are gonna be popping off. Some There's gonna be some shocking things happening, not only in our personal lives, but as a collective. Some of these transits are kind of reminiscent of what happened last year during that uh, Beirut, um, that explosion that they had um, in the center of the city and so we're not saying that it's going to be very negative but it's just that's just how volatile this energy really is and so for a lot of us it's gonna just um, I think bring through some amazing changes not only that but just some surprises this week and so depending on what item you resonate with we're basically just gonna channel what you could basically expect through now being Wednesday until I would say about Monday to Tuesday of next week like you know this energy that we're going through it's gonna be really really potent and that's basically you know the time period of when you're gonna feel these things so the first card stack um i have my yellow this is actually oh no <laughs> this is actually a yellow candle that i charged during the pisces full moon and um, i absolutely love this candle um it's very dreamy yellow is of course the color of your solar plexus and so this is very powerful for manifestation actually our manifesting abilities come from our solar plexus so when you have a balanced and not only balanced but just a powerful um solar plexus you can make amazing changes happen in your life and also yellow i think it's a very happy color it's one of joy and happiness and um it just it gets you going it uh kind of lights you up <laughs> it's your drive it's your flame um so in group two we have some cinnamon sticks and so um, i absolutely love these cinnamon sticks we have a little bit of sugar on them as well um so cinnamon sticks they're great to use if you need to bring extra energy into whatever you're trying to manifest whatever you're working on it just basically it's like an energy bomb it um it definitely helps things come along quicker it helps speed things up so whatever you're trying to manifest it brings it to you quicker faster um cinnamon is like great to use and also it has like this healing and i don't want to say a detox effect but it definitely has a, a healing effect um you would use cinnamon um i think cinnamon is more for our i guess you would say sacral chakra you would put uh, cinnamon for sacral or even root chakra um so that is group two and then for group three since this is a video of breakthroughs of just random things happening but that's gonna put us on probably a better timeline um i just have a knife <laughs> so what best to cut through whatever reality you're living in than a knife so depending on which one you resonate with just meet me in the timestamps i'll have below if you resonate with more than one i do the same when i watch these pick a card readings so you can watch more than one you can watch two heck you can watch all three it doesn't matter but um, we're gonna get started with group one the group one and welcome to your reading oh my gosh so the first card is the empress the second card is the ten of wands and the third is the knight of cups and then on the bottom, you guys have Yamanya, Golden Opportunity. Important doors are opening for you right now. Walk through them. Um, hopefully you guys can see this. So I think for your guys' explosive energy this week for something that's just about to take, just a crazy left-hand turn, um, I, I think this really has to do with most likely a relationship or someone coming in. Um, you know, you have heavy Empress vibes, which it's so funny. So solar, solar plexus, this is about manifestation and it's about um, giving you the strength and the courage to just go after the things that you want so this actually might be something that you've been trying to manifest you guys do have the ten of wands um so this isn't going to just come without um some type of work or some type of effort which if you're working with your solar plexus then you know that you have to believe in yourself it also helps to boost your confidence the solar plexus is not just manifesting it's boosting your confidence to where you feel like you've already manifested 
whatever you're dreaming up because you guys know manifestation it isn't just about you hoping and wanting and crossing your fingers it's about you basically raising your vibration to the vibration of you having that thing that you're trying to manifest so if you're trying to manifest a relationship then you have to act as if be as confident as if you're already in a happy fulfilling relationship so for you guys there will be action that you're going to need to take um, with the empress um, this is a heavy sacral chakra card so if you're not doing things to balance out your sacral chakra i want you to maybe just google do some research into what you could do to open up your sacral chakra and i want you to open up your um your solar plexus as well um so for some things you could do um, sometimes it's like the type of foods you eat or you could use color therapy wear more yellows and for sacral chakra you would wear more orange oranges so basically i think you should put those two together so the yellow the orange the sacral chakra the solar plexus put it together work with that energy um i definitely think it's going to be a person coming in and you know what with this ten of wands of you know burdens but but not only that it's not just burdens it's just it's hard work and effort but it is the type of hard work and effort that will pay off so it's not just you um you know running around in circles like chasing your own tail because you can see where he's like he's almost to his village in the background so like he does have a destiny he does have a journey so it's like he's putting in all this work now but it's going to pay off um you know this person might come to i mean it could be possibly your rescue i'm gonna ask for some clarifying cards um but it does look like you're about to get an opportunity and so the opportunity might come through crisis i'm gonna get some a clarifier on the ten of wands a clarifier on the ten of wands Okay, for Ten of Wands, we have the Four of Pentacles. And on the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Pentacles. And then the clarifier for the Knight of Cups. Clarifier for Knight of Cups. Oh gosh, <laughs> Six of Cups. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so related to the burden this burden is something from your past something that you have not yet let go of so during this week during you know the the dates that i've told you i mean from i mean it could have already started but definitely from now until i would say monday of tuesday of next week um there's going to be some type of something's going to come up you're going to feel a little uncomfortable but it's going to be okay um regarding something from the past so you're, you're definitely revisiting something not only that but we have the six of cups which is just further giving a nod that yes this is something from the past coming back um this person that's coming in i i think you may already know them i think either that or you had a very strong connection with them in the earlier part of your life so this is either someone that is close to you know just close to home you guys could have went to school together you guys could have went to church together um maybe you grew up in the same neighborhood i don't know but or it could just be someone from your past in general okay it could be your recent past like within the last couple months last couple years it doesn't have to be childhood um but something from the past is coming back up and i'm it, it's like the energy is that of the doors that are opening like you're supposed to go through it so this isn't just something coming back for you to just move on i think this is something coming back and almost like giving you a second chance um, I want to read a little bit about Yamanya and what else it says in the book. So for the golden opportunity, um, like the ocean, life moves in waves and tides. Timing is everything. So when an opportunity presents itself, you must dive in at that moment. Everything that you've done to prepare yourself will accompany you. Yet if you hesitate or procrastinate, another opportunity will surely come along just as the tides wash in and out continuously. Okay, guys, so you've already, you've already, I think, had a shot at this before. Um, you know what? Some interesting things happen with manifestation because getting back to you feeling called to choose this manifestation candle and which is funny this is a this is a water sign like i charge this under the pisces full moon and then of course we have the knight of cups we have heavy cup energy so we have all the water sign energy but um sometimes when we uh, manifest things we can almost i don't want to say it is lost but we'll enjoy it for a little bit and then something will happen it's like we lose our focus and maybe something else comes in or it's almost as it's not as powerful anymore i feel like this like you're you still want to manifest this but you were so close to it in the past that like 
this is finally it like it's finally coming back around for you um but there definitely is a second person in here so this isn't just you doing it all along um i'm not sure if it was just the burdens of everyday life that got into the way of this manifestation almost becoming true in the past or you know if it was just bad timing but something that you have not let go of um it's it's coming back around and this is going to be a really positive thing so i'm i'm really excited for you um i'm definitely researching more into when we're manifesting things when we finally get what we want why does it kind of sometimes slip out of our hands like we'll have that success we'll enjoy it and then it's like now we're on to something else and we forget all about it it's almost like um sometimes it doesn't benefit us for the long term it's like we manifested something that just benefited us for the short term it could be a relationship or um it could be like just an, an opportunity um just anything and it just it doesn't stick like this is some type of i don't know it's a phenomena and i'm not sure what the the energy has to say about it like what are we doing when these things happen but you are definitely getting a second chance and it's you know using your feminine energy um being open and receptive to this that's going to be huge but i think you're definitely going to have that empress goddess vibes when this does start coming about and um i don't know this is just a really really big change for you so i want to pull one more card just to see um more about the outcome of this spread outcome outcome like i said this this week is gonna be full of surprises guys so <laughs> what you least expected is probably gonna happen okay so you have seven of wands oh my gosh you guys have so much wand energy all right so seven of wands this is about having conviction this is about standing up for what you believe is right okay so last time when this whatever this is that that happened last time you probably second guessed it um you're probably like okay i'm not sure if this is the right thing um i'm not sure if this is for me but this is you standing up and um, it's just you actually defending your intuition your beliefs like what do you feel on the inside on the bottom of the deck we have the world so th this is a new chapter for you starting um this is probably this is really gonna be a really huge week for you <laughs> whatever happens like i said this huge change could come through some type of crisis something going wrong but all of a sudden it's just like oh my gosh that was meant to happen like there's some definite faded energy and uh, I really hope you guys like check back in and let us know like next week in another pick a card reading how this week went um, because like this energy it's just it's just that energy of finally getting what you want like finally getting what you've been so patient what you've been manifesting for so long so just good luck guys and I'm really really excited for you so now we're gonna move on to group two. Group two were the cinnamon sticks. If you resonated with that, then just keep on watching. If not, then thank you for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed this reading. Hello group two, so you chose the cinnamon sticks. The cinnamon sticks, um, you know, of the element, this is an element of fire, but it's also of just bringing more energy into whatever you're trying to create, whatever you're trying to manifest. Um, and also bringing in like a quickness, like <laughs> speeding things up a bit. So I'm really interested to see what is coming into you with this explosive week. So we have the five of pentacles, we have the seven of, pen of pentacles, and then we have the four of swords. Wow. At the bottom you have Freya bold so this is this is definitely something that's had you in weight so i'm getting the energy that you've been sticking to something something that you've been wanting to happen like you've been this has been on your mind heavy and you've been very very faithful to it like this is like sticking with something even though you might not have enough money this is like that's definitely a card of like you know bad health so this isn't a health reading and i'm not getting that vibe but it's definitely a huge loyalty card in relationships also with the seven of pentacles um something is about to come to fruition um, something that you've been watching that you've been monitoring you've been putting in the work you've been putting in the effort and this is finally the week that you're gonna get whatever um 
like an outcome. I'd be very surprised if judgment doesn't come up in this reading because I'm getting just those vibes of you finally getting answers and definitely to something that you've been waiting on. Um, also, Four of Swords, this is not just a card of waiting on something, but this is like quiet meditation, quiet contemplation. Um, I'm about to pick some clarifiers on what it is that's coming in this week. And if it's supposed to be that you're supposed to take some time to meditate over this. Clarifier on what is coming through. Okay. So you have the Six of Cups. Then you have the Nine of Swords. So there's a lot of sword energy. There's a lot of thinking energy. Um we already knew that this is something that you've already been working on so this being a card of something from the past some type of nostalgia coming in this isn't exactly um surprising but whatever it is you know you have a little bit of anxiety around it i'm not sure if that's why you felt like you resonated with these cinnamon sticks because cinnamon sticks are something to help speed things up it's like okay this is taking too long i've been faithful i've been waiting hurry up at the bottom of the um, deck, we have the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands has a lot of confidence. She's definitely, she like in, embodies the energy of Freya. Um, she's definitely bold. Um, she is adventurous. She goes after what she wants. Not only that, but she's very attractive to others. Like her energy, it's, it's magnetic and it pulls people in. What is this in regards to? What is this in regards to? So now we have eight of pentacles. <laughs> okay, so I mean, this possibly could be something that you've been working on, but really it's just, I'm, I keep on getting just the most redundant cards, just basically saying, I said what I said. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what you guys are working on or what you're trying to come through, um, but with this four of swords you've definitely been waiting for a very long time with this eight of swords the great thing about the eight of swords even though it is a card of anxiety and of worry it's one of those cards where you being hyper focused on it you thinking about it too much actually makes things worse than they actually are um for some reason with this freya be bold and then not only that but then you have um the queen of wands on the bottom of the deck it's like it, it's almost telling you that you just you either need to just pull the trigger so i'm not sure if this is something on your side that maybe you're waiting around too much that maybe you're you're sleeping on it you're thinking about it too much actually yes i think that's exactly it <laughs> i think you're making um a mountain out of a molehill like you're making this into a bigger deal than it has to be this is something that is already established so this isn't something new coming in this is something that has already been going on for a while either you've been trying to manifest it for a while or it's just an ongoing thing and so now it's like okay all of this work you've been putting in um all this time all of these resources it's time for it to finally pay off and so it's just asking you to unleash your adventurous side take risks and be daring um, with the Queen of Swords, it is one of those cards of taking action. She is very, very confident. Like, she just goes for something. She is a fiery, I mean, all wands are fire signs. Um, and, you know, she just embodies that take action of that have drive. And, and she's not afraid. Like, she's not afraid. If the Queen of Wands were a person and she walked into a bar and she saw an attractive guy, she would just go up to him and just start chatting and flirting. Like, <laughs> she she has no fear like she's just one of those women who they get what they want and so i think with this week you know you've probably been in your head about this a lot you've probably been waiting you've probably been sleeping on whatever is about to happen and you're about to get an opportunity to actually go for it you're finally about to get the opportunity to take action and so depending on what it is whatever you've been manifesting whatever you've been working on whatever has been heavy on your head this week finally has the power and the ability to finally get you those answers um, and the results that you've been waiting on, that you've been looking for, and that you've been, you know, worried about. <laughs> so just for a little advice, you're definitely going to have to take on this type of 
personality trait that and that of the queen of wands like no more being passive you can't be passive anymore you can't lie on it you can't wait on it you can't just you know this guy <laughs> with this um this seven of pentacles he's actually taking stock of the work that he's already done like this is him just evaluating things and then with this four of swords you know deep contemplation meditation just waiting um things being on your mind heavy on your mind and you just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and then you making it a bigger deal than it actually is um you're gonna have to take some action this week <laughs> and so i'm not sure what the catalyst will be and i can't tell you the day of the catalyst but with this energy you're about to get the opportunity and so when it's time to step up to the plate you need to put on your big girl panties or your big boy panties and you need to just go to it you need to be bold like literally that is your advice that and on the bottom of the deck having the um the queen of wands you just need to take on i'm that bish type energy and that's what's probably going to bring you the most success so i'm about to move on to the third pile so if you resonated with that pile as well then just keep on watching okay pile three welcome to the party so pile three you guys are just ready to cut through the crap like <laughs> it's time it's time you know you were oh, i feel like pile three this is probably one of the most um like uranus type because we have some uh uranus transits happening this week and so those who have heavy uranian influences in their natal chart so if you're an aquarius rising or aquarius sun or maybe you just have heavy aquarius placements whatever it is whatever that aquarian area of your chart is or wherever your uranus in your chart it's about to blow up for you and for some reason like i get this kind of like this this smile like like you're ready for it like you're inviting it in like you're excited about it i don't know okay so we have the page of swords so more air sign energy we have the nine of pentacles and then we have the ten of swords and then at the bottom we have siege quiet time oh take some quiet time alone to rest meditate and contemplate So with the Page of Swords energy, this is an energy of just lying in wait. This is an energy of being vigilant. Um, if you're trying to like do research or trying to get to figure out something, it's like you trying to make sure that you've like dotted your I's and crossed all of your T's. So for some of you, I feel like you're already like waiting for something to happen. Nine of Pentacles is a very luxurious energy. Um, it's definitely... It's definitely tied to your finances not only that but it's tied to independence it's like taking your leisure time um living a very romanticized life like everything you could want finally coming together but it's coming together because of the work that you put in it's not really you having a benefactor or you just getting lucky or other people making it happen it's just like you making it big you winning the winning ticket and then you enjoying the spoils with the ten of swords energy i'm asking for a clarifier on this ten of swords what is being closed out with this ten of swords what is being closed out with this ten of swords ace of pentacles and then we have five of wands. All right, so with ace of pentacles, this is like a new start. This is usually a pretty lucky card. So whatever crisis is gonna come in this week or that's gonna feel like it's like a door closing, um, this is actually your lucky new start. And with the five of wands, five of wands is that of just like of competition of you having been up against other people so i feel like whatever you were researching whatever you're looking into whatever you've been very vigilant about um you're gonna be ready for it you're definitely going to be ready for it and it's gonna close out for good like the the chapter is done it, it's finished it's not coming back from the dead like it's it's dead <laughs> it is dead with the ace of pentacles this this is a really really auspicious card and like in all things like in all things it's not just a new start in money this is very auspicious for if it was a love relationship if this was a health relationship or spiritual with the siege um taking quiet time alone to rest i think at this point i feel like you've already done what you needed to do with the page of swords i feel like you've already done what you needed to do like in this whole stack like 
there there's nothing about you having to do anything or even having to take energy it's just like the cards falling like where they may and these things just happening almost like to you whether this is competition within your workplace um competition um i mean in a relationship maybe um whatever is about to die <laughs> whatever door is about to close whatever chapter that's going to bring um a new beginning a very auspicious beginning um i think all of the waiting you being vigilant and you just basically being on your guard i think it's finally going to pay off this is definitely advice to you that you've done enough like y you've done enough <laughs> just, just watch things go down like you've done enough i'm gonna pull a card for your outcome of this situation outcome of this situation card to represent the outcome wow the eight of cups you just walking away like psh, i'm i'm done i'm out of here i've done my thing but on the bottom of the deck you have the six of wands so this is you walking away but you're walking away victorious so it's like your intuition knows that something is about to go down like you you've had this on your mind for a while um like i don't know if you guys are waiting for a relationship to fall apart <laughs> that sounds awful i don't know why i'm getting that if you're waiting for a relationship to fall apart are you waiting for someone to leave your company so you can maybe take their place um what are you waiting on because this is this is something like completely like because you definitely have competition okay whatever it is you have competition and but you know you have competition like you've been doing research on the competition okay so if this isn't a relationship you've been stalking their social media like you know what you're up against um but this huge ending that's about to happen um or something that someone's walking away from it's like it's walking away like for the better like you're actually going to win when you walk away from it so i'm just i'm so interested to see if you guys can leave a comment on what really is this pertaining to the reading is like showing me the energy and of what is to come and how you basically don't have to take any more action like you've already done enough it's just going to play out for you but i'm really interested to see is this pertaining to do you guys have a relationship that this is pertaining to because you know obviously this is a stack for you know the collective so whoever felt um you know pulled to this knife <laughs> this is your stack and so for some people this could be something having to do with like a relationship for others it could be having to do with money um it could be something to do with your family i mean there's just so many different situations that this could work for so i'm really interested to see but but just know whatever it is with this six of wands i mean you are victorious so nine of pentacles is all about independence prosperity um just having a comfortable life like this is like your your dream so that's like your freedom whether that's to travel whether that's just to hang out to do the things that you love to do and so it, it's crazy that things are gonna like pop off for you guys but like i said when i was channeling in the beginning i feel like you guys kind of like want the drama like you guys just have that polarizing energy of like yeah i'm ready for this like bring it like <laughs> so i already got that from the beginning um so yeah please let me know in the comments uh, what are you waiting to fall apart in your life right now <laughs> it's such a weird thing to say but it's like this is the type of drama and the type of explosive endings that are explosive for a couple people but actually benefit others as well so let me know